Alright guys, ZFR back here once again, and I figured I might as well go ahead and make this Last of Us Part 2 video before I dive into some other Last of Us Part 2 videos. They're going to go more in detail about um, things I liked and disliked about the game, and you know, basically overall my opinion on certain moments in the story, some of the writing, and just different scenes and stuff like that. Basically, before I start throwing around opinions about about things with this game that are definitely going to make me unpopular on both sides, <laughs> I figured I might as well go ahead and make this video kind of addressing, you know, the two warring sides of the fandom right now um, with this video. So, the damage control for Last of Us Part 2 is definitely at an all-time high right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I did, I'm not one of these guys who thinks Last of Us Part 2 was complete and utter trash. At the same time, though, in my opinion, it definitely was not a masterpiece. In my opinion, if you think this game is either trash or a masterpiece, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I just think... I think your opinion's a little on the funny side, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how serious I can take your opinion um, if you're in either one of those camps on this game. Because this game has a lot of really well done and impressive things in it, in all aspects, but it also does do a lot of stuff wrong, in my opinion. So, with that being said, we're just kind of going to go over what I'm thinking about all of the um, controversy and debate and stuff going on around this game. I don't really want to get into the actual game too much in this. We might use a couple different um, scenes and stuff from the game or a couple different moments um, for, you know, examples and reference. So if you don't want to be spoiled, you might want to get out of here if you haven't played it yet, because I don't know what you're waiting for if you haven't. Or, or unless you're just not getting it either way but so getting into this man yeah let's just go ahead and start with um the damage control and the people who won't hear any criticism with this game so the last was part two in my opinion definitely was not a masterpiece some people are trying to call it a masterpiece and listen if that's your opinion, okay, I, I'm not going to knock you too much for having your own opinion and stuff, but I do heavily disagree with that opinion if that is your opinion. And for very specific reasons, all right, there are certain things with this game in terms of the writing that are very on the sloppy side, in my opinion. Like... The writing in this game is downright sloppy in some areas, and, you know, I don't know at moments, and I hate to say it like this, because I don't want to trash Naughty Dog like everybody else is doing right now, even if they somewhat kind of deserve it for all the copyright stuff, but, um... You know, at times in this game, the writing even almost feels lazy at, at different points and stuff like that. You know, it feels like they, you know what it feels like? It feels like this game might have been a masterpiece, but they cut out certain scenes, and for some reason, they decide to cut out scenes with really important, you know, context and clues and stuff like that that would have overall improved the quality of the story and the writing. It feels like those are the scenes that they cut out of this game. Um, and I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's the case or I don't know if this is just how they planned it out completely and this is how it was always going to be. But, man, th there's just some writing moments in this game that feels very sloppy, all the way from things like Joel and Tommy taking that Sunday stroll into a house of armed strangers and getting way too comfortable with them. That's the big one I'm hearing thrown around. Um, then, of course, you know, there's Ellie dropping the map and Tommy and Jesse not noticing it, not checking around a little bit before just walking out of an area with two of the main people that you were looking for um, in that city to begin with, not even taking another glance around for clues about Abby. So, I mean, 
There's a lot of stuff like that in this game. Abby going back to save two Scar kids, even though her and Manny were just having a conversation about how sometimes Scar kids have to get killed. You know, that that's not on them, that that's on the Scars and how they're raising them and stuff like that. All this merciless shit they were talking earlier, and then Abby just risks her life for two of them. Um, then, you know, I mean, there's just like Abby's sex in the game where you think that they're going to use her sex in to build up all the characters that Ellie's killed or that they're going to really dive into her as a character and really, you know, kind of um, make her a little more likable, a little more compatible and stuff like that. But in my opinion, they skip over most of that or at least... Um, the stuff where friends, I guess they did all right with Abby herself, but um, most of her story, or at least half of it, was, you know, a side quest about two Scar kids, and it was really weird. There's a lot of stuff writing-wise here that just, it's just like, wow, I can't even begin to dive into all that in this video. I'm just not, but you get what I'm saying, and people just refuse I mean, refuse to accept that some of this was not good writing. Some of this was very out of place. Some of it was, uh, you know, extra busy work. Some of it was si side quest quality um, stuff in terms of writing and all that. And, you know, some of it would have been better placed somewhere at different points in the story than it was, you know. There's just a lot of things when it comes to writing here that just, you know, it feels off for a lot of people, not just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was just, this is my first video I've made since the game's drop, really criticizing it. So, it's definitely not just me because everybody else has been causing the ruckus so far. But, yeah, and, you know, people just refuse. Refuse, I mean refuse to hear anything negative about this game and this game definitely does have some negative aspects to it most of them stemming from the writing now once again like I said I'm not gonna go over everything I liked and disliked about this game or anything in this video because this video isn't necessarily about the game it's about the game's fandom so yeah, and of course, you know, there there's the other side who just completely hates the game, who just hates it at any cost, you know what I'm saying? They're making these crazy statements and stuff like that, you know, they're saying whatever they have to say to discredit some of the good things that the game does do, they, you know what I'm saying? They're, they refuse, <laughs> they refuse to acknowledge that there are some good aspects of this game. Um, and they probably know it, but you know, they, they want, they're not, you're not going to hear them talk about it. It's also crazy to me that you have some people that are trying to give, you know, opinions slash story reviews on this game without playing it. I'm sorry. That, that's some fraud stuff. Like I, that, I thought we were past that on YouTube gaming, but I mean, apparently not. You know, some people, I guess a new group of people now think that it's once again okay to review games without playing them. And uh, listen, you know, this is something they do a lot in gaming media. Um, e even, that's right, even the gaming media themselves do do this. A lot of people don't realize this, but some gaming outlets don't require people to finish games before they review them, you know. Um, especially if it's a longer game, like something like The Witcher or Fallout or something like that. Game reviewers or game journalists don't always finish games before reviewing them. And I, in, my, in my opinion, that's a massive problem with them. And no, I'm sorry, I don't care how much time um, in, in a week they have I don't care about their time restraints or anything if you're reviewing a game I expect you to find the time to play it and to completion 
Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hear that get the review out before everybody else at any cost type stuff. I'm not trying to hear that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have a problem with game media doing that. So, in my opinion, we should also have a, a problem, you know, with the average run-of-the-mill YouTuber doing it too. And there are a lot of YouTubers who are reviewing this game without playing it or who are talking insane an insane amount of crap about this game without even touching it i don't think i need to start listing people who are i'm pretty sure you can figure them out but they're people who have like what 20 30 40 videos about the game by now and you know they they don't even own the game it's just like nah bro i can't I can't support this. This is wild, all right? You know what I'm saying? I'm all down for giving your opinion and criticism, but when you're criticizing something this heavily, I'm sorry. The very least you can do for your own reputation, your own image, um, you know, your, your, your own integrity as, you know, someone who's, I don't know, doing news on YouTube or who's just reporting on stuff on YouTube for your own integrity's sake. If you're going to criticize something that heavily, the least you can do is own it. That's all I'm saying. The least you could do is have played the game. All right. I I get what they're, they're coming from with the whole, nah, I, I don't want to support it. I don't want to buy it or anything. Well, that's fine. But... You can't expect people to look at you making like 50 videos about something and then on top of that, you haven't even played it for yourself. You watch somebody else play. I'm sorry, you deserve to get roasted at that point. You, you just deserve it. Um, so I, I'm not even going to talk. I might make a whole separate video about that because that's crazy that people are doing that too. Like I understand um, the game has problems and a lot of people don't like it. And I, I even would consider myself in that camp of the people who think that the game has extreme problems and would like to see something very different going forward from the company. But at the same time, god dang people, and I'm not even going to get into the whole death threat thing. Okay, you know, sending the voice actors death threats. I'm sorry, but you know, I thought about this for a while. and. Ultimately, I'm sorry, I don't care, <laughs> all right? You know, it's the internet, it's YouTube, death threats are nothing new, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's okay or anything, but at some point, at some point here on the internet, you're going to hear a bunch of crazy stuff thrown your way. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lot younger than most of these people. And back, even back when I started this channel, when I was 14, I was hearing some of this crazy stuff um, in my own comment sections and stuff like that. So I'm just saying everybody who has an online presence, everybody who's online goes through it. You know what I'm saying? To see like Neil Druckmann and certain other people from the team, you know, constantly whining about it. I'm sorry. Y'all got to be past this. Y'all got to understand um, where y'all are at. And on top of that, y'all know, y'all had the new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all had the know that y'all were not about to be getting a bunch of um, sunshine and rainbow posts in your um, tweets and comment sections after this game came out. Like that, That's the reason y'all kept warning us that the game was going to be divisive in the first place. So I mean, I I'm sorry, I don't feel too bad for them on that front. Like y'all had to see it coming, you know what I'm saying? You had to see it coming at least somewhat. So. Yeah, even though it sucks that it's happening, like, I mean, it, it's the internet. 99% of the time, it's not serious. Uh, the 1% of the time that it is, uh, I mean, the chances are rare is what I'm trying to say, man. And even if it really bothers you like that, I could be wrong, but I think you can still press charges on somebody for, you know, doing a uh, stupid death threat online like that. So... I mean, if it really bars you to that extent, you can take some legal acts in there, I believe. So, 
yeah, do what you feel you gotta do. But ultimately, and then you know, you see them, you see them all happy go lucky in the next post, high five and each other and everything celebrate. And so I be, mean, I don't know how much that really bothers them behind the scenes. You know, I'm not going to comment on that. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I would imagine these people have been through at least a little bit of this before and that they know they know the name of the game by now, but who knows, man. So, anyway, getting back to the people damn it's controlling for the game, man. You know, just hearing a bunch of stuff like, oh, you didn't get it, or oh, you missed the point of the game, or oh, you're not smart enough, you're not intellectual enough to grasp this game and how different and amazing it is, or to see that this is the future of gaming. Like, man, shut up. Like, <laughs> like, bro, uh, like, this is that. I'm sorry, but that has really been annoying me, and that is so many people people's response to damage controlling for this game people understood this game all right there's not much to understood violence is bad it's not worth it in the end vengeance usually isn't worth it it's much better and more rights is to forgive and more rewarding and satisfying in the end even if it doesn't seem like it in the moment and stuff like that and you can go over a bunch of other different themes that you know you pulled from this game even up to the ending with some people you know a, a bunch of people are giving their opinions on the ending and guys the way i looked at the ending the the writing for the ending felt very open-ended all right you know what i'm saying a lot of people are trying to say no it meant this or it meant that or you know she saw joel right there uh, in life so that is side to make her want to let abby live or whatever you know what i'm saying it's all it's just all opinions okay you know what i'm saying most of you aren't writers like that all right you know what i'm saying my dude and i mean i'm i'm somewhat of a writer i went to school for writing and stuff like that and i took a ton of english courses and all that um but you know even i'm not on the professional level yet but you don't need to be a professional to, you know, understand good or bad writing. You know, you can kind of see it. You, you can kind of, you know, see it in, in the way things are written and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is you, a person doesn't need to be a professional to understand or to grasp the complexity of a good book or to you know dislike a book or whatever it, it doesn't work like that all right you know what i'm saying people understand this game some people just did not like it and it's as simple as that you know what i'm saying it, it's crazy that some of these people are calling everybody closed-minded or, you know, this name, that name, you know, this phobic, that phobic, all of this crazy stuff. But they refuse to open their minds themselves and see that some people have problems with some of the stuff in this game and why they might have some problems with it. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of hypocrisy going on around this one on both sides, in my opinion. You know, there, it's just... It, it, it's just wild right now and ultimately i'm just making this video now right now to say that i don't subscribe to either one of these sides because i know i'm getting ready to make a ton of videos about this game and you know people are going to be very up and down with me people are going to be going back and forth with me over my opinions on this game because i I don't think the game is terrible. I don't think it's the worst game this generation or anything like that. I, I think it definitely is a good game. I think it is probably one of the better games this generation. However, I just don't think it is a masterpiece. And I don't think a lot of games are masterpieces. I, I mean, there were, in my opinion, the only game I ran into this 
generation that I consider to be a masterpiece was Witcher 3, and that's just my opinion. Some people are going to say, oh my god, ZFR, how do you think Witcher 3 is a masterpiece but not The Last of Us Part 2? And listen, I'm not going to get into that in this video. I might make a whole separate video about that one too, just to kind of let you guys know what I consider a masterpiece and stuff like that, and just to um and maybe just use those two games to kind of explain it and stuff like that but ultimately this the what's going on with this game right now at the end of the day this is what the developer wanted i mean it, once again like i'm surprised to see um neil and his team and all of them crying as much about you know the negative opinions about the game going around because they had to know. You know what I'm saying? They had to know this was coming. They literally designed parts of this game for you to feel hate. For you to dislike it. Alright. And then, you know, they, they tried to turn around. But they had to know that this wasn't going to land with everybody. Like, there's no way. There's no way... I've been, you know, checking out the gaming industry as long as I have, which is only a couple of years now. Um, and, and these people have been in the industry for way longer than me, and they didn't know this was coming. There's no way. This just goes to show you how out of touch some of these developers really are with their fan bases nowadays and with gamers in general. This... I, I, I see a lot of people calling this, um, you know, the last Jedi of gaming. You know, at first I was like, nah, nah, I don't think that's true. You know, The Last of Us Part 2 wasn't that bad to the point where there was no, where it was like the point of no return. You know, all hope is lost and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad, okay? For, at least for me, it wasn't that bad. However, though, I'm starting to see where people are coming from with the way the developers are reacting to the fan response. Listen, you knew going into this that you were making something that your fans weren't going to enjoy. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, oh my God, but, you know, this is their creation. This is the game they wanted to make, their vision. What the heck is going... <laughs> Like, listen, this is what I this is what I was saying about, you know, um, The Last Jedi and the movie industry and Hollywood and all that and stuff like that. That directors and all that were losing touch with what it's all really supposed to be about. And that's supposed to be the fans. That's supposed to be making interesting content for the fans and stuff like that. Now... Don't get me wrong, you should make content that you want to and that you enjoy, but all I'm saying is if you start making stuff that the fan base that you created no longer enjoys, I mean, what what's the point at that point? You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with going a different route or something like that, but when you actively start making stuff that you have to know your specific fan base does not want and does not enjoy, I'm sorry, I don't see I don't see the thought process in it, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go that route, why not make an entirely different franchise? Why change up the main theme why not why change the main overall feeling that made people fall in love with the franchise to the complete opposite almost you know why destroy everything people knew thought they knew and therefore destroy what people kind of loved in a way about your franchise in order to just in all for the sake of doing something different you know in my opinion I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that new way of thinking that, you know, we're seeing in Hollywood and now in the game industry and mostly in this game. You know what I'm saying? There's problems with that. There, there are real big problems with that that are going to arise because at the end of the day, it's all well and fun to make a game, to make the game that you want to make, but if players don't have a game that they want to play 
or that they or that they wanted to see then you know it's only a matter of time before they just stop playing you know what i'm saying like you need the players to play you they they are very important in this equation almost just as important as you if not more but you know we're not going to say all that because you know obviously you need developers to make the game in order for them to exist in the first place but there's not supposed to be this egotistical um element to that you know what i'm saying there, there, there shouldn't be you should enjoy making things that people enjoy things that people want to see you know what i'm saying everyone's talking about oh they could have done the safe story. They could have went the safe route. Yeah, they could have. <laughs> You're right. And you know what I'm saying? The safe route, people are treating the safe route as if it was the bad route. That's my thing. People wouldn't have mind, wouldn't have mind it seeing the safe route. Okay? And don't get me wrong, the safe route didn't have to be 100% safe, but it could have been a little bit safer than what they did. What the... This, what they did in the end overall comes across as a bit reckless, unthoughtful of what fans would have liked or wanted, and just overall kind of sloppy. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they didn't go the safe route, but is the route they went really better than the safe one would have been? You know what I'm saying? Would all of you really have complained if there was more of Joel? In this game, all right. Would all of you have complained if you played, if you had ended up playing more of those sections as Ellie instead of Abby? You know what I'm saying, like that. Like, would you really have complained if Abby's story actually had a little bit more to do with the main plot of the game instead of two random freaking kids that she meets? And that they try to make a big point of, oh, she's a good person by the end of the game. Would you really have complained if they went the safer, more, you know, predictable route with it? <laughs> like, just because it's safe doesn't mean it couldn't have been masterfully done. That's my thing. That's what made The Last of Us Part 1 so good. The Last of Us Part 1 was a very simple, a very safe story to tell well not really a safe one to tell by the time you got around to the end of it but you get what i'm saying it was a very simple story it was a very simple game that was crafted masterfully the last was part two on the other hand i don't know about that <laughs> but you know that's how i feel about it i've gone on long enough about this um this is probably going to be my last super long video on this game for a while. I'm going to try to keep future ones on the short side. But yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling about The Last of Us Part 2. Um, you know, did you enjoy it? Did you not? What do you think about all the controversy and all the um, different opinions flying around out there? Which side do you stand on? You know, do you agree with me? All that, all that good stuff. Go ahead and talk about it in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the dislike if you hated it. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to give a lot of you a bunch of reasons to hit the dislike in the near future. But, um, you know, go ahead and do what you got to do. But ultimately, at least make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get more compelling, you know, Last of Us Part 2 videos that subvert your expectations <laughs> all right all right i'm done guys so anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you on the next one zfr out